Hi everyone, we are the group 3 from Bachelor of Science in Washington, Nancy. And this is our caricature for our first caricature. Which is the conflict between China and West Coast and Sea. And our second caricature is about deforestation. And, and we are going to introduce ourselves. Hi everyone, I am Clive Liana. I am Maisha Jane A. Ongayo. I am Mark Lawrence B. Kinanahan. I'm Nadine Isabel Otero. And I'm Julaila Melchor. I'm IGE Omasas. And I am Juliana B. Mahila. This caricature shows that man chooses wealth over the well-being of nature. As we all know, deforestation is the cutting down of trees in the forest in large numbers. It's always been a threat and problems for over 40 years, especially here in the Philippines, causing us ecological imbalance. From 2001 to 2022, the Philippines lost 27.6 kha of tree covered from fires. The main cause of it is mining and logging. Mining operations have been cleared largely areas of forest land and has led to water contamination, loss of livelihood, and loss of biodiversity. The only way for us to prevent it is to attend or cooperate in the program of DENR. You can contribute to the efforts against deforestation by reforestation, essentially replanting an area with trees and educate others how to properly take care of our mother nature. In this state, we can fight the climate crisis in our country. This caricature shows where there is a big tree standing <laughs> tall, representing nature's beauty and life. Above it, there are dollar signs symbolizing money and personal gain. With each screen, not only does the tree lose a part of itself, but a forest loses a piece of its own. The once vibrant ecosystem is reduced to a barren landscape, stripped of its biodiversity and natural balance. It emphasizes the irreversible damage inflicted upon the environment in the pursuit of the wrong. This caricature shows how some people prioritize their personal profits over the well-being of our nature. By cutting down trees for money, they're causing harm to our environment and disrupting the balance of our ecosystem. It's a reminder that a grid of selfishness can lead to irreversible damage to our planet's forests and biodiversity. Deforestation and promoting sustainable practices, we can protect the Philippines' valuable forests for our future generations. This caricature is about deforestation, serve as a powerful visual commentary on the environmental crisis facing our com community. This caricature highlights the destructive impact of deforestation in ecosystem, wildlife, and communities and the portrait of devastated landscape emphasizing the scale and severity of deforestation. Furthermore, this caricature may sanitize the greed and short-sightedness driving deforestation depicting corporate interests prioritizing profit over environmental conservation. This also created government policies and effective regulation Shown that contribute to rampant deforestation. In addition to raising awareness, this caricature about deforestation can inspire action and advocacy. This, by representing complex issues in visual, engaging, and accessible manner, this encourages viewers to 
reflect on their own consumption habits and support initiatives aimed at prevent preserving forests and mitigating climate change. Overall, this caricature about deforestation play a crucial role in fostering dialogue, raising awareness, and mobilizing collective action to address one of the most expressing environmental challenges for our time. Deforestation is the clearing or cutting down of forests. The word is normally used to describe the actions of humans in removing forests from the planet, rather than destruction caused by such natural event as hurricane. People have been cutting down of trees for thousands of lost forests means the disappearance of livelihoods in rural communities, increased carbon emission, diminished diversity, and the degradation of land deforestation is one of the most pressing environmental issue we can face today. So with vast tracts of um, forest disappearing in alarming rate, it is not only leads to the loss of habitats or of the countless species, but also um, accelerates climate change due to the significant amount of carbon dioxide stored in this ecosystem. So the solution is, one is the reforestation. Reforestation essentially replanting an area with trees is one of the most direct and effective countermeasures to deforestation. This practice not only restores the lost, lost green cover but also aids in mitigating the impact of deforestation such as soil erosion, biodiversity lost and carbon emission. An essence of reforestation aids in rejuvenating ecosystem, promoting a healthier and sustainable environment. Next is the afforestation. Afforestation refers to the practice of sowing trees and fostering forest growth on land that is traditionally hasn't supported forest. It is a proactive approach to creating forests such as planting trees on agricultural land that are no longer in use. Next is you have sustainable forestry. Sustainable forestry is another key of solution to deforestation. It involves managing forest resources to meet the current generation needs while protecting them for future generation. This practice entails selective logging, controlled burns, and ensuring the rege regenerations of trees before more are cut down. We can balance meeting our timber needs and preserving forest ecosystem by adopting sustainable forestry practice. The continued presence of Chinese vessels in disputed water exacerbates stations in the region and raises concerns about maritime security. Efforts to resolve these issues through international arbitration and limited results for the further emphasizing the complexity of the situation. The protection of maritime rights and the principal resolution of territorial disputes are essential for fostering stability and cooperation in the region. In addition to driving away Filipino fishermen from their traditional fishing grounds, there have been reports of Chinese vessels de deliberately ramming Filipino fishing boats, intimidating them with water cannons and blocking access to disputed shoals and reefs where Filipino fishermen rely on their livelihood. These actions not only violate the sovereignty of the Philippines but also undermining the livelihoods and well-being of Filipino fishermen who depend on these waters for their survival. Despite diplomatic protests and calls for dialogue, the situation remains unresolved, highlighting the ongoing challenges in the West Philippine Sea the issue in the West Philippine Sea involves the territorial dispute of China and the Philippines, which is affecting the, our trade and also for the resources, mostly like fish and other guns, which we build, we build our military or marine time to the explosive rate, which excludes the Philippines from our explosive economic zone. Even today, news that the, the China is still harassing the vessels that from our from our territorial side which is for supplying the other maritime wartime which is they claim the china that is that our behavior needs to be punished by throwing our by water pressure area which breaks the glass of the vessels that the philippines which is, philippines still have able to tolerate this kind of behavior but the caricature shows about the problem of the west philippine sea 
Despite its complexity and difficulties, the West Philippine Sea is being handled diplomatically. This involves the attempts of the regional and international organization in order to find a peaceful settlement of the issue as well as the bilateral conversation between nations with overlapping claims as it economics. The China has become more assertive in the area as the result of the China's assertiveness in the region, particularly the construction of military and military bases and artificial islands. Tensions and concerns have about freedom of the movement of regional stability have grown. The caricature shows the dispute over the West Philippine Sea serve as a reminder of the difficulties in handling territorial dispute in the maritime reliance, as well as the significance of the peaceful conflict resolution procedure and adherence to international law and preserving the regional security and stability. that will go on for sure.